The close grip bench press is going to work a little bit more of the triceps and a little bit less of the chest than a standard bench press. When you're setting up your close grip bench or your bench press in general, you'll want your uh, J hook set up so that whenever you reach the bar from the bench, you don't have to do an extra rep to get the bar off of the hooks. There should just be a slight bend in the elbows, pop the bar off and go for it. And then I've got the safety bar set up a little bit lower. That way I can lower the bar pretty much to touch my chest, but I can tell the bars, the safety bars are there just in case for some reason I fail on my set. So when you set up the bench, also you want to make sure that the bench is not so far back that you're having to um, struggle to get the bar up. If it's too far back, you'll actually smack into the J hooks here. So make sure that you're not too far back because you'll hit the hooks too far forward. It will be too difficult to get the bar off of the rack. So you should be lined up so that your eyes are just underneath the bar. You'll lay down on the bench. Make sure that your feet are flat on the floor. And if they're not, you can always place risers or yoga blocks underneath your feet. Your hands are going to be just a little bit closer together than standard bench press width. So for me, I always put my arms, I, I set them up on the gradient so that my thumbs are touching the smooth part right at that transition edge. That's going to be normal uh, bench press width for me. You're going to go usually about a hand width inward from that position for your close grip. So for me, that would be just about as wide as the smooth part of the barbell, but I have narrower shoulders. You'll just have to adjust based on the width of your shoulders. So you'll set your hands up, hand width closer than your normal bench press. Take the bar off of the rack. And then from here, we're gonna bend the elbows, allow the barbell to arc down below the chest. And then you'll arc the bar up and back over the eyes for each repetition. So down and then up and you're pressing solidly through the floor, through your feet. So if for any reason you start to struggle, you should be able to press through your feet to aid in the lifting of the bar. Obviously having a spotter there is helpful as well. But just remember, slight arc of the bar up over the eyes and then back down over the chest. You don't wanna press straight up over the chest because usually it'll end up being a little bit wobbly. Bringing it back just a little bit will give you more stability and then we'll continue that arc on all repetitions. As this gets easier, you can add more reps or you can add more weight. Lots of things you can do with this exercise.